Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. Today, I'm going to turn my A1 Mini into sort of a filament dryer, so let's get right into it. So I've found some broken filaments inside the plastic bags where I store my PLA filaments and came to the conclusion that these filaments might be wet. One sign that your filaments might be wet is when it becomes so brittle that you can just break it off like this. On the other hand, filaments that are not wet are more flexible. You don't want to print with wet filaments because you're going to have stringing problems and other problems that can influence the surface quality of your prints. And I've noticed the stringing of these filaments when I printed this model. So I'm very certain that this Eason filament is wet and needs to be dried. Fortunately, I already have my A1 mini printer with a bed that can be heated. So I'm going to use it to dry my filament. This method isn't a new method and there are a lot of users who used the bed of their printers to dry the filaments. The problem with my A1 mini printer is the bed is pretty small. I mean the 1kg spool is larger than the bed itself. So to use it as a filament dryer, I'm going to use two filament boxes and sandwich them together and cut a hole underneath it. That way the box can hold the filaments and the opening will let the hot air to rise and heat up the filament. Why do I need two boxes? Well, I plan to use two small USB fans and place one at the lower part of the box to let fresh air in and another one at the upper part of the box to suck the hot air out. Now, I could also print the whole box in polycarbonate which is resistant to high temperatures but I only have an A1 mini and A1 mini has a small print volume and I can't print polycarbonate with it. Which is also a perfect time to talk to you about our sponsor for today's video, PCBWay. If you have a 3D printer that can't print specific materials or has a small print volume, or if you don't have a 3D printer at all, you can get PCBWay to print it for you. PCBWay offers 3D printing services and you can get them to print in any material like resin, nylon, TPU, PC, ASA, or even metal like titanium. Just upload your model to PCBWay, specify the quantity, choose your materials and so on, and hit submit request to get your quote. PCBWay doesn't just do 3D printing, they also offer other services like all kinds of PCB services, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and so much more. So make sure to check them out and visit PCBWay.com to learn more. So now, let's get back to our experiment. My idea is, when the bed heats the wet filaments, the water molecules in the filament get evaporated and rise up. The fan at the upper part of the box will help to suck the wet air out. And at the same time, fresh dry air will be sucked in via the fan at the lower part of the box to help with the ventilation and accelerate the drying process. So let's put my idea to the test to see if it will work or not. So first, I'm going to use the sponge for my drying test. Let's introduce 15 grams of water to the sponge and have the initial weight to be 17 grams. I'm going to dry the sponge for 3 hours and see how much water evaporates. I'm going to set the temperature to 60 degrees Celsius, which is also a recommended temperature to dry PLA filaments. Let's turn the fence on and wait a sponge each hour. So about 14 grams of water evaporated and this sponge is dry so my experiment showed us that it somehow works, well at least in drying the wet sponge. Now let's use this setup to dry our filament. Before drying, let's print the string test model by Hako85 so we can compare it with the model printed with the same filament after drying later. As you can see, we have a stringing problem here. I printed two other models with two different filaments and they definitely look better than my eSun filament. I expected this to be worse, but I guess the super wet part of the filament already broke off. So let's weigh the spool and take note of its initial weight. 
Now I'm gonna set the temperature to 60 degrees Celsius and dry it for 10 hours. I'm gonna set the lowest speed of both fans and come back again after 5 hours to flip the filament. So it has been 10 hours, so let's take out the filaments and weigh it. So after 10 hours, the spool weighed 919 grams, which means that 4 grams of water evaporated, which isn't that much. The energy consumption to dry the filament for 10 hours is 270 watt hours, which is about 12 cents. Now let's load the filament and print the stringing test model. This print doesn't have a lot of stringing, and compared to the previous print, it is certainly better. Bending the filament also doesn't break it, so I can safely assume that the filament is dried to a certain extent. Now let's use a filament dryer to dry another candidate, which I think could be wet, which is this orange Isan PLA Plus filament right here. We're gonna first print the string test model. You can see the stringing, though it's not that bad, so I assume that the filament isn't really that wet. But let's weigh the filament and dry it anyway. I'm gonna set the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius and dry this for 6 hours as recommended. So about 5 grams of water evaporated. Now let's print the stringing test model. So we can see slight improvement to the dried filament and it certainly has less stringing. So the dry consumed about 22 watt hours per hour which is slightly less than the energy consumed by our A1 Mini per hour. In those 6 hours, it consumed 137 watt hours which is about 5 cents. So what I can conclude from the experiment is, both method works. However, if I were you, I would invest 40 to 70 dollars in a dedicated filament dryer. I would only use my printer to dry filaments in case of emergency like if the filament dryer stopped working or something. Just a short disclaimer, this video is meant only for testing purposes. Bamboo Lab doesn't recommend that you use the A1 Mini or even the A1 to dry your filaments. So please don't try this with your A1 printers. So I hope you enjoyed the video and tell me in the comments which method do you use to dry your filaments and if you have a filament dryer, which one do you recommend? I would also appreciate it if you would leave a like to help the channel out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.